Hey guys, it's us. Welcome back to another vlog. It's our first full day here in Hong Kong and we're excited to explore this beautiful city. Another day, another adventure. Let's get it, let's go. guys so before we start exploring Hong Kong we're gonna give you a quick room tour of the place that we are currently staying at for the next few days so let me give you a quick room tour of Conrad Hong Kong so this is the bedroom it's where we sleep obviously <laughs> Super spacious, perfect size for just Anne and I. The bed, amazing. Mm. So right here we got our workstation. And over here, we got some fruits. Thank you, Conrad Hotel. Best part about this room is obviously the view of beautiful Hong Kong. Look at that. Woo! Wow. It's, That's actually stunning. Yeah, especially at night. Right now it's a little gloomy, but it's still super gorgeous because you see the city. Amazing, amazing view, especially to wake up to in the morning. Got a TV, obviously. We have a little friend. Yeah, do we call him Mr. Conrad? <laughs> <laughs> That's where we keep our luggage, our equipment, our This backpacks. corner will be very messy in the next few days. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. <laughs> and over here, we got our coffee station. We can make our coffee in the morning. Got your water heater, got your espresso maker. Down here, I'm guessing this is the fridge. Yup. Fridge, we got some cups. So this is the bathroom. Shower Ooh. over here. Check it out, super clean. Ooh, bathtub. Yeah. Rubber ducky. Mrs. Conrad. <laughs> and then this is where you do the business, obviously. They got TV in here too. So anyways, that is a room tour for Conrad, Hong Kong. Let's go out and explore the city now. Let's go. Alright guys, so this is our first time riding a bus here in Hong Kong. We decided to take advantage of the bus because apparently it's really easy to get on and pretty easy to use. So that's what we'll do to get to our destination. Which one are we Are we lost yet? <laughs> we haven't even started yet and we're lost. <laughs> Alright, we're getting in now. First time in the bus in Hong Kong. We don't even know how to use the octopus card. <laughs> cool. Alright, so we are now in the bus. Pretty cool, this bus is here. I haven't been on a bus since like high school. High school. It's such a cool bus, it's a double decker bus. We were gonna go up, up there, like on the second floor, but it's packed as well. So what we've noticed is that they don't have a lot of MRT station compared to bus stops around. Yeah, the bus stops there's a lot. Yeah, I guess we're using the bus. Yeah, I think we're gonna use the bus more. Yeah. yeah. So we just got off the first bus. Before we head to the next bus, we're gonna get coffee first here at 7-Eleven. Let's have Jollibee! <laughs> Check this out, guys. So we're gonna get coffee, and then, but they have Jollibee right here. Cool. I'm gonna get a banana. Trying to be healthy out here, you know? Ooh, yes. So this is breakfast for me right here. How about you, baby? Matcha latte. Having a quick breakfast. It's getting kind of chilly, eh? Yeah. I need this black coffee. Wow. It's yummy. Full brew. Alright, let's eat and then we'll catch our next bus to Victoria Peak. Hi 
Alright guys, so we are now here at Central Station and this is where we'll start our way to Victoria Peak. So if you guys are taking the bus like us, once you get to Central Station, you're gonna make your way down to Central Bus Terminus, which is where all the buses are located. And then you are gonna get on Bus 15, which is what we are gonna do right now. All right, we're here now at Terminal 15. Bus or no, 15. Bus 15. <laughs> he doesn't bus. Forgive yeah. him, guys. Oh, All right, so that's right there, the peak. So we are now on the bus. We're gonna be on this bus for 45 minutes to an hour. But you don't have to worry about getting off at any stops because it goes straight to Victoria Peak. So the very last stop is Victoria Peak because they have their own bus station up there. That's so cool. you just sit down and relax and enjoy the view. They also have free Wi-Fi in the bus. Pretty cool. So it says right here you can enjoy up to 30 minutes free Wi-Fi service per session. And you get two sessions for each device per day. So you know, you don't get bored in here. You know, you can watch Netflix, you can watch YouTube, or you can just enjoy the view honestly. Alright, so 40 minutes later, I think we're finally here. Alright, so we're gonna go find the lookout right now. The road up here was so scenic. Yeah. It was super windy and steep though, like we're so high up. But it was yeah. gorgeous. A tip for you guys, if you're gonna be taking the bus, I highly recommend you sit on the right side. Yeah. Because it's very scenic it's on, on that side. side. All right, so that up there is the peak tower and that is the main viewpoint that they offer here. But you have to pay 70 Hong Kong dollars to get up there. But apparently there's a nicer view over there and it's free, but it is a 15 minute walk. Not even too bad. So that's the one we'll do because it's free, right? All right guys, so since we're pretty high up, like really high up, <laughs> this is the highest peak in Hong Kong. It's pretty cold up here. So make sure to bring a sweater because I didn't bring a sweater and I'm kind of cold. I feel like I'm back in Canada. <laughs> it's pretty chilly. <laughs> Down there is warm, but up here, totally different story. Yeah. We're still walking. It's honestly a pretty scenic trail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the trail we were talking about is paved. Yeah. You know? Kid friendly. Yeah. And you won't get lost because you'll see everyone walking this way. As you saw earlier, there are cars going up. So if you do want to take the easier way up to the peak, you can just get a taxi or a driver and get them to drive you all the way up instead of walking. Yeah. All right, so we're almost there, I think. But look at this spectacular view of Hong Kong. I wish it wasn't foggy, or I don't know if that's fog or pollution, but it's still super gorgeous. The skyscrapers are so tall, I feel like I'm right beside them. I know, it's pretty <laughs> insane. The skyscrapers here are insane. Nothing I've ever seen before. Okay, so this view right in front of us is 550 meters above sea level and it is the highest mountain here in Hong Kong. So if you want to see the beauty of Hong Kong, the skyline, then check this place out. You won't regret it. Highly, highly recommend. It's gorgeous up here. Alright, so we just finished a quick hike. That viewpoint was amazing. We're back here now at the bottom of the peak tower. As you can see behind me, they have like a shopping district. They have stores, they have restaurants. We're hungry. We're probably gonna get a quick snack. We are well aware that we haven't eaten lunch yet, but we're gonna get dessert first before lunch. <laughs> Let's get something.
So at the bottom of Peak Tower, we are greeted with a mini dessert stand. It's so good. Hong Kong Egget. Egget. You guys recommended this on Instagram quite a bit, so we're excited to try it. I think what you guys were recommending to us was the bubble pancake or bubble waffle. Is that the same is, thing? I think it, they look the same. For now, we're gonna try this right here because it looks delicious. We got the one with ice cream. The one with ice cream is kind of pricey. It was around 70 Hong Kong dollars, but it looks so good. Put it in your mouth. Oh, oh god. It's like a waffle. Yeah. It's a waffle. Yeah. Can damage is the egg. Mmm. That's so good. Let's try with this. This mango ice cream and whipped cream. That mango ice cream is so good. Mm. Wow. That's a good balance. What makes it though is the ice cream for me. Mm -hmm. That mango ice cream is really yummy. Should have just ordered mango ice cream. A waffle too, actually. Yeah. I can eat that by itself. On the other side of Peak Tower is Peak Galleria. We just went inside this place because we needed to go to Circle K to reload our octopus card. But it is actually a mall. Yeah, like look at that. They have stores. They also have restaurants here. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know this place was massive, look! Way bigger than the Peak Tower, for sure. Yeah. Alright, so we're currently at Circle K. Uh, we're about to load our, or reload our octopus card. So you can load them at Circle K, 7-Eleven, even McDonald's or Starbucks. Yeah. And what we learned is you can actually use your octopus card to even buy food. At convenience stores. At convenience stores. Yeah. So it's kind of like a prepaid, like, visa, visa. almost. Yeah. Where you can use it almost anywhere. Yeah, so if you guys are coming to Hong Kong, definitely get an octopus card for easier transactions. Yeah, we got them through Kluk, so yes. go to Kluk and get yourself an octopus card. It is now 7 p.m. and we are currently back here at the hotel. Apparently they have a pretty good buffet down here and it's called the Garden Cafe and we're here to eat there because we're starving and we're feeling a buffet right now. So. And we honestly didn't want to leave the hotel. We just wanted to chill. It's convenient because it's just downstairs. Yeah, so let's go see what this buffet is all about. Let's go. getting me excited they have everything that we want in a buffet so we're really excited to eat look at this like it's like poke bowls some sushi over here perfect way to end the night you know I'm gonna get some uh, barbecued pork you know you're in Hong Kong you have to oh look at this and barbecued duck I got, I got my two plates ready because I'm gonna get me some fresh lobster right now. Look at this. This is making me really happy. I know my dad's watching right now. I'm like, damn, that looks good. <laughs> and her dog's watching and she's drooling. She's probably drooling too. And here. I actually got two plates, so I went back and got some sushi on a different plate. So I got quinoa salad, I got some... I forgot what kind of pasta that was, but it looked really good. I think it's some seafood pasta. Broccoli, I got mashed potato with truffle. I've never had that before. And then I got some mushroom, duck, and then pork. And then for sushi, obviously, it's only salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of ate already, sorry babe. Wow, well, I always wait for you. No you don't, but anyways. <laughs> the selection here is pretty good. The restaurant might look small, but the selection is perfect. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ooh. 
I can't wait to eat that to be honest with you. The chef actually gave us oysters. Look at that, that looks so good. And also... Uh, they must know that we love sashimi. Yeah, we got salmon sashimi with caviar. And then we got cola. And that is dinner. But don't worry, we will be back for more. Mmm, <laughs> smells like the ocean. <laughs> Put some lemon on there. You can tell that it just came out of the ocean. <laughs> wow, that's so fresh. Must not up. So back in the room now, that buffet was mm, so good, man. Mm -hmm. They had an incredible selection of food. Yeah, no, definitely check it out if you guys are ever here. Anyways, this is where we end the vlog. It's been a great day here in Hong Kong once again. Yeah, we can't wait to explore more. Yeah, as always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on social media for daily updates. Yeah, we'll see you in the next Hong Kong vlogs. Peace!